What we're looking for in this, on the capital side or the building side of this referendum is we're looking to build a new middle and high school on the Summit campus and also a new elementary school out on Green Giant Road. This will allow us to meet the needs of the growth that we're experiencing in our district and to make sure that we have seats for our kids as we continue to grow. It's super important to add another middle and high school. The first reason is that our middle schools and high schools are bursting at the seams. Three out of four of our middle schools are overcrowded, including trailers being at one of them. And we've had to make modifications already at Meredith because of the growth in the district. And so we absolutely need another middle school. Our high schools, we thought that Odessa High would do a little bit more of alleviating the pressure at Middletown and Appaquinimic. It did a little bit, but not what we expected, again, because of the growth in the district. It's a tremendous honor to be a part of the first building on this campus. We get to welcome these families into their journey and to pass this referendum to be able to build additional buildings on the campus really is an opportunity for us to give them hope. So over by the estate at St. Anne's, there's a 30-acre tract. And when the estate at St. Anne's was uh, annexed and being approved, the town said, you're building all these new houses. You're going to set aside some ground for the school district. And that's what it did. And so that 30 acres on Green Giant Road was arranged by the town. It comes to the school district at no cost, which is a tremendous savings. Anybody who has looked at the uh, price of land uh, recently and knows that in and of itself that saved us a lot of money. And so uh, I said at the school board, kudos to the town. You know, we really appreciate the town and everything it has done for us. It's great to have a, a good partnership. In addition to the three projects that the state is going to support us and help us fund, we're looking for a much needed bus lot behind Alfred G. Waters. So why it's a safety issue is just if you look initially, that building was designed what's known nose to tail um, busing. And so the buses line up in front of the building. As the population has grown at that building, it actually goes completely around the parking lot, all four corners of that parking lot, causing a safety concern for our students. This bus lot, which would be in the rear of the building, would relieve that safety concern that we have. I had the opportunity to be involved in the building of the Fairview campus and watching our programs have the collaborative ability to work together. It's really incredible, especially as an example of our music program, to watch eighth graders participate in a marching band and watch the program grow, to watch kids from the ag classes go over to elementary school and teach kids about ag science at such a young age. That's an opportunity that we don't want to miss.